Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everyone. My name is Barbara. Welcome back to my channel for those who are returning and welcome to all of my new subscribers. Thank you so much for watching. I am doing a plan with me today in my A5 365, uh, uh, a, my <laughs> my Stology A5 size 365 journal. <laughs> yeah, so uh, thank you so much for joining me on that. If you would like to see the after the pin, do not forget to visit my Instagram page. I will leave the link below and it'll show everything that has uh, happened throughout this week. But um, you all already know I don't have any sticker kits. I like stickers that I get from... Um, Hobby Lobby, Michaels, Joann's, Walmart, the dollar store, and also I buy some from Etsy. I, I bought some a lot from this shop. Um, I can't even, oh, oh it was called uh, Sticker, Sticker Planner Shop Co. I think that's the name of it. I just wanted to show you these. You know, I like these for habit trackers and for, um, YouTube. This was a freebie. It was so nice. Uh, and this was on Etsy. And uh, when I run out, I just couldn't help but get these uh, uh, deep Phoebe daycare. If I have any hair appointments, uh, planner time, Instagram. This was another freebie, a little lister. Uh, AM Daily, which I may use today. Um, I use this to uh, a monthly tracker to kind of track my exercise days and clean house. So I won't use all of these today, but I think I'm definitely going to use my AM Daily uh, to put on my sidebar and, and um, and when I run out of my stickers. So let me set that to the side. And uh, you all already know that I um, have some stickers already put out. So uh, I have picked out my bottom and top washi. And this one um, is, is has something on it. I think it says, make today amazing. So that will be something nice for me to look forward to, look at for the rest of the week. And this is a nice dark rose that I'm gonna use use as my top washi. So let's go ahead and get this down. So um, yeah, how has your day been going or your week? Um, I hope that it is well. If, um, if you've been paying attention to the calendar, <laughs> um, and I probably, I don't know if I can't remember if I mentioned it last week or not, but we are now in fall. And um, for those of you who do not know, I live in Georgia. And you all know that the weather can change from morning to noon to the evening. And it can change uh, pretty drastically. All you have to do, what they say, is just wait around for a little bit. So, um... Right now, the weather, I think uh, I, I was looking at the weather when I was doing my um, my my morning gratitude. I think the high is going to be in the 90s, maybe 90, 89, 90, I think I wrote down. And so um, pretty, pretty nice. I, I love these temperatures. I have to say spring and fall are some of my favorite times of the year uh, just because of the weather. I love the weather um, that's just not too hot, not too cool, and it's just, <laughs> just right for me anyway, for me. So this is going to be my top sticker, progress, not perfection. And I know that um, a lot of people have said that it's um, um, all over the internet, um, uh, motivational, you know, we are in a work in progress. If you think that you start something today and you're going to be perfect at it tomorrow, um, I think the only person that you'll be fooling is yourself. It is a work in progress. And in the pro and the pro progress may be uh, lifelong, you know, sometimes progress is, doesn't take that long. It may take a few weeks, but other things like health and, um, and, and, and work and, uh, relationships, you know, that is something that you continue to work on. You just don't get to a point and just say, Oh, I'm finished working on that. I've reached perfection. No, you continue to keep striving. So 
I like that to look forward to. So here's my little dots for my habit trackers. Let's see. One, two, three, four. Did I get enough space? Five, six. That seventh one is going to be squeezing in there, right? Okay. And so the next thing is get my... What? My little... Cinderella chores list, right? One, two, three, four. Yeah, it's five on here. So let's put these down. Um, so if you all watched last week, uh, you heard, you saw that, um, or whenever the video went up, because you know, everything is a little off because I put the videos up a little later than they actually um, <laughs> they post just just for privacy. So they're about a, on a week delay for you all. But last week um, I went to a tattoo expo and um, it was uh, hubby went with me and it was pretty amazing. I had a wonderful time. We didn't stay uh, long. Um, we just kind of went because I knew that I wanted to speak to a particular, particular uh, tattoo artist, which I did. Her name is Christian. And um, I spoke with her. And uh, uh, if you all don't know, I am wanting to have a tattoo. I have been wanting to have a tattoo for years. And I had told myself, had told or told myself that I was going to get a tattoo when I turned 50. I was just like, when I turn 50, it, 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 I, I, I want a tattoo, right? That's what I want to do. Well, I turned 50 and guess what? I did not get a tattoo, y'all. My arms, legs, wherever are... I continue to be tattooless. And so um, when this expo came up, I, I was like, hubby, I really want to go to this because I really want to, I, you know, I have been, I, I just need to get my act together. This is something that I want to do. I've been wanting to do it. And procrastination, if you all have listened to me, I have a relationship with procrastination that is not the healthiest. And so procrastination has just had a hold on me. So we went it and so we went to this expo. It was really fun, had a whole lot of tattoo artists. Uh, they were giving um, seminars, classes, uh, best of day. Uh, they had food there. It was pretty, pretty, pretty amazing. And so I was able to speak with her, um, kind of give her what my frame is. She's a wonderful young lady. I've seen, I've been kind of cyber stalking her on her Instagram account. Uh, and I, I think I love her work. But what I really liked is I had was taking my dad to an appointment, one of his oncology appointments um, uh, for a checkup. You know, he, uh, if you all don't know, my dad is a, a colon cancer and breast uh, cancer survivor. And um, so um, I was taking him to one of his appointments and I saw uh, this woman, this young lady with a lettering. I just thought it was script, but script or lettering tattoo on her arm. And I didn't have long to talk to my dad because he was, you know, getting a little fatigued. And so I was just like, where did you uh, get that tattoo? And uh, she told me where she, you know, the artist and where she had received her tattoo from and I made a note of it and I was like, you know what? I, I just, I just need to just go ahead and do it. I just need to stop talking about it and just do it. And, um, I have not, um, got my tattoo. I don't know. I may vlog it. Who knows? Um, uh, but I haven't, uh, received my tattoo, um, or talked again with the artist, but I am really, really going to get serious about it. So, um, if I do, or when I do, I'm not going to say if, when I do, I will let you all know, um, how that's going to work out. I have sent her a message, um, to let her know that I appreciate the time that she did, she did talk with me. 
um, over the weekend. And, um, oh, where's my ruler? Did I not put my ruler out? Okay. Um, anyway, I was, I sent her a message um, to let her know that I appreciated the time that she took to talk to me at the expo and that, um, you know, that I, uh, uh, I'm kind of ready to uh, sit down and have a consultation to go over, you know, kind of uh, the art uh, of what I would like. And um, so, yeah, y'all, that's, that, that's kind of, a, I don't, I, I don't remember if I have shared that or not, but I have been wanting a tattoo for a while and I just need to just stop talking about it and just get it done right i already know it's going to be uncomfortable too painful um uh, the how much it will be uh uncomfortable to painful will be just you know the process that i'll be going through and what i will have to look forward to is that i won't, I won't be the first person who has received a tattoo other people have received tattoos, they have gone through it, and they have, you know, <laughs> made it through. So if I cry, if I yell, if I scream, um, you know, that just happens. I'm not going to let that deter me from what I want to do. So anyway, let's get the days up here. You all know that I like to... Oh, before I continue... Who who of my viewers, watchers, how many of you have tattoos and how old were you when you um, received your art? How old were you when you got your art? And what do you think about older? I know once you get a tattoo, however old you are, it's just when you received it. But I am a plus 50. And what do you all think about our older generation um, receiving body art. So I would love to hear what you all think about that. Uh, body art and the older generation. There is a woman that I follow on Instagram and her Instagram handle, I will try to remember to put that down, um, her Instagram handle. And if I forget it, please, someone remind me, um, is uh, Gray Hairs and Tattoos. I think that's her Instagram. And um, I um, absolutely adore uh, her tattoos. I adore her personality of um, of um, wanting to seek new uh, new things, fashion, um, makeup, just doing what uh, feels good to her, not necessarily what may be conventional. And um, visit her channel uh, on Instagram if if you all are Instagram. Um, um, you know, if you have an Instagram account, but, um, and I think she does have a YouTube account, although I don't know, she may have a YouTube. I'm looking for a number one for Sunday. Um, but, um, oh, that's number one, but it looks so much like that. I'm kind of liking my, I, the idea that I received from my, um, YouTube friend, Jean G to use a different number. I'm trying to look for one that's already had some taken. But um, anyway, yes, I uh, follow her account on Instagram. She is gray hair and tattoos. So um, she's just been such an inspiration to me uh, about being um, older. Um, she is 59, I think she is. So she's just a few years older than me. But being older, but just not allowing what society says is beautiful or what society says is right, don't let that dictate, uh, you know, what you wear or how you wear your hair or what your makeup looks like, um, you know, um, and, and I am just, you know, um, very motivated, very inspired by her. Um, by her encouragement that she gives um, to um, to others and to myself. So, yeah, visit her if you have a chance. But um, let me get these down because you all know talking and writing is not my forte. So, um, I have a regular, I think, let me look at my work calendar. I do have a regular 
work schedule. There are no holidays and I have not requested any days off. So I'm off on Monday and Tuesday. So on Wednesday, I work my 10 hour shift, which is from 8 until 7 p.m. On Thursday, I work my 10 and a half hour shift, which was 8 until 7.30 p.m. Friday is 10 hours, 8 until 7 p.m. And Saturday is nine and a half hours, which is 8 until 6.30, which equals a 40-hour work week. So I have that. And um, I, uh, oops, I'm going to put down my AM daily. So what do I, I wait a minute, I, I'm right. I don't know what I did with my other pen. I'm gonna oh well here I'll write it this. So this is what I'm gonna write AM daily across the top. And uh you all know, and I think I say it in every um video or in most of my videos, that I am at a stage of my life. Um, where I just am uh, embracing routine. So I pretty much do the same thing, um, mostly uh, the same every morning. And uh, you can see more of that on my flip through if you um, watch my flip throughs that I post around the first week of the month. But I thought that I would start putting uh, it on the side on uh, also on what I do on a daily basis. So this is where, where's my new sticker? I said I was going to use, here it goes, this new sticker that I got from Sticker Planner Co. And this was a custom, a custom sticker. So let's, um, <coughs> oh, excuse me, y'all. Um, let's, where's my um, tweezers? Because I want to get this down halfway straight let's see it looks like I have like a pink and purple going on right um I'm just gonna put these down right here I might, I might put it in a box next time but let's just put that down right there am daily and I'll figure out a place to put that in and I had four of these laid out for that and I guess one of them fell off and I'm trying to see if I have another one somewhere and I may not hmm let's see oh, I might have to use those little flags again that's the only thing the stickers sometimes fall off and um, it has, oh, yep, they don't always stick. So I think I'm just going to just use, let's see, um, where are those little flags? I just saw, I think I have four of them to write down this little list. There's one, two, three, four. So here we go. So let's use these little flags. Is it gonna, is our, our four going to fit? I kind of made that little bit skinny. But I like to focus on my faith. And that will either be listening to devotionals, reading devotionals, writing in my gratitude journal, um, scripture writing, just whatever, um, that day brings that that's a little bit of variety for me um, my health and my medications so I'm gonna put health oh, am I in the frame and meds and that is me taking my blood sugar if you've seen here my blood sugar my blood pressure medication my supplements um, taking my blood pressure um, and um, just focusing on my health. What am I going to eat for the day? Which I haven't been doing lately. And I need to do that. And then Phoebe. And that is our dog. And that is getting her outside. Feeding her. Watering her. Giving her her. Um, she takes daily medicines for joint health. I think I've told you all. She has some joint issues. 
and uh, she's a lab mix dog, so they have a tendency for them. And then fitness and movement. If I fitness. So I have not been going to the gym lately, and that is because um, I um, I think I uh, you know if you've watched, but if not, I'll, I'll just tell you. I have done something to my foot, and it really, 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 really hurts. <laughs> And, you know, my foot, um, the top and the bottom of it kind of hurt. And so, um, actually, we'll talk about it a little bit. But tomorrow I am going, I, I've gone for, I, first I went to the doctor and had x-rays. The x-rays, you know, were inconclusive, uh, recommended a bone scan. So, um I went for a bone scan uh, last week, and so tomorrow I am going to go to oops, go to the podiatrist to review the results of that bone scan and to get any recommendations uh, for this pain that I am in, and um, do I have any restrictions as far as my movement? Um, I also lift weight, so I'm going to ask. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm going to ask the podiatrist what do they feel about um, me lifting weights. So I, I'm just, you know, you know, I'm just, you know, being patient and trying to do like my doctor said, not to be, you know, exercising until I get see the podiatrist. So this is also like I do on, like I said, on um, Mondays, I do an IG post. I do that every Monday, and that's my after the pen, um, you know, because this is just a skeletal view. Uh, so this is after the pen, and I also post other things, mostly my fitness and things with my family. And then on Tuesday, there's a YouTube upload of my plan with me. And that's, you can see that. And then on Sunday, like this is Sunday morning, I actually do my plan with me, so I'm a plan with me, and I'm going to film, so I will edit it, I'm, I'm filming now, and I'll edit it later on today, and on um, Friday, I like to think about the meals for the next week, so I do my meal planning. And then on Saturday, I do the family budget. And I give it to hubby and he uh, reviews it. And so, uh, like I said, um, this is, well, this is where I do my fitness. And I'm, uh, since I have not been going to the gym or walking, I've trying to been stretching and, um, and specifically kind of like, on, just like I would go to the gym, I'm just, uh, you know, stretching. So that has been on Tuesday. <laughs> Thursdays and Saturday. So I will stretch after I finish filming this. I'll go ahead and do my stretching, um, you know, to make sure that my um, muscles stay loose, my ligaments and stay um, not so tight because they are definitely tight. Um, so I just want to do some stretching, maybe about 20 to 30 minutes of stretching. So let me put that down here. This is going to be stretching day. My pen is went out of ink. Oh. oh, I told you all I can't talk and write. Stretch is, is an R in there, I guess, that I totally missed. All right, we're going to try this again. So stretch. Thank you, wide out. Stretch and stretched. Okay. And so let's see. Next are my little boxes. Y'all know I like to put them down. So my little boxes. One of them will be delivery. And I don't, I think I'm going to use this box for delivery because I don't think I have a lot to order this week from Amazon or Etsy and I'll see what hubby orders and this will be for my meals. I need to get, 
I was just telling hubby or this morning or I was talking to him about it. I need to um, really um, get my eating under control because I have not been exercising, um, you know, as I usually do. Um, but I've been eating like I, re I usually do. So that has not changed. I have, of course... Um, had just a little bit of weight gain and I haven't exercised. I think it was uh, the, the last exercise day I had was the fourth of this month. <coughs> Y'all excuse me. I wish I had brought some water in here because I totally need, uh, um, I need to uh, sip on something, but I didn't think about it. Um, but anyway, I, um, my last exercise day was the fourth of this month, you know, with my foot and everything. So I've gained uh, some weight and um, not that that's a bad thing. It was, it, it's, it is expected, I, but I just need to get a hold on, I think, um, you know, how I'm eating because um, usually for me, when I exercise, I don't know, how about you all? I eat a little bit better. I drink more water because I'm actually so thirsty from all of the exercise um, that I've been doing. Um, and I have not been doing that uh, because I haven't been, you know, going to the gym. I'm kind of, at, so when, you know, I haven't gone to the gym, so kind of out of that mindset of drinking water and eating well. And so, um, not that that's an excuse. I'm just letting you know what's going on. And so, the um, consequences of that are that I have, um, you know, gained a little, a, a little weight. And so, I just need to get a handle on that because, um, I, I'm not that I'm necessarily trying to lose weight. Um, on my fitness journey because I really want to work on my strength. But, um, oh, look, at, I'm talking about going to the gym and I, I pulled out my workout stickers. But I don't, um, I don't want to um, lose, if the weight that I have lost, I don't want to just, you know, start gaining it either. So I need to get a hold on that. Basically just start eating the right things. I'm just not eating the right things. So anyway, this is church on Sunday and the first Sunday of the month and um, the trash is picked up on uh, our Thursdays here. So Phoebe has daycare twice a week and she is back to her regular regular twice a week schedule y'all so how about this little dog that is i mean she's just cutie right so let's put her on tuesday for the day phoebe is going to be going and this little shepherd dog will go down if i can get her out we'll go down on friday for Phoebe's Friday day. And I have these stickers. So doggy daycare on Tuesday. And doggy daycare on Friday. And Phoebe's going to have a good day on that day when she goes. So now let's go through any appointments. And I am looking at my calendar on the wall. I hope I've been keeping you all in frame. So let's see, the 25th, which is tomorrow. And I've already kind of talked with you all about it. Bless you, babe. That's hubby. He's in there sneezing. Um, I have an appointment at, with my podiatrist, so that's going to be tomorrow at 9.40. 9.40 a.m. Me at podiatrist. All right, and then the next appointment, there's no other on that day, so on 
Tuesday, there are two appointments. So, Hubby has his physical therapy at 8.45. So, 8.45. Ronald. Uh, I mean, at physical therapy, occupational therapy. Again, this is after the surgery he had on his right hand. And so, this is to help with uh, strengthening and stretching and those uh, ligaments that have been repaired. And then um, my mom, I'll be taking her to see her primary care doctor. And that is at 8.40. 8.40 a.m. Mom with primary care provider. And we'll be at Martin Army Community Hospital, which is the hospital here. And then on the 27th, which is Wednesday, um, we have uh, um, a once a month uh, a clean, the maid, the maid uh, team comes here and um, just cleans the bathrooms. I just like them to be sprayed down really well. So that'll be the clean team. So that'll be on Wednesday. That's at my house. And then on Thursday, um, Hubby has his occupational therapy appointment, another one on that Thursday. So that will be at, what time is that? 8.45. So 8.45 a.m. Ronald at OT. And then, oh, wow. I guess, oh, I think he's going to be taking dad to this appointment. I guess he's going to have to come straight from occupational therapy. I have to talk to him uh, and then go take dad because dad has an appointment at 11.30 a.m. Dad with Dr. Jones. Okay, and this is um, for men and Echo results because he had an echo i think it was last week or a week and a half ago and um oh let me get a i need a birthday because it's my auntie's birthday so i'll put a birthday thingy down is there a birthday thingy in here yeah i just i'm just gonna tear this out because i have these little things for birthdays and I can use those exclamation points for birthday. So let's see. First Friday. Um, oh, Friday. Okay, for we have a birthday. Let's go through that. Oh, these are so hard to get to, get off, but I am going to win this battle, right? Am I gonna win the battle against a sticker? Oh, it's giving me a fight, y'all. It was not going down without a fight. So Friday. We have Aunt Fanny's birthday, and that's my Aunt Fanny. Oh, y'all, can you hold on? My mom is calling me. Hold on just a moment. Hey, Mom. I'm up. Okay. <laughs> All right. I will, um, I'll see you at a uh, regular time. I'll pick you up for church. Okay. All right. Bye, Mom. Bye. <laughs> Okay, that was my mom. It is <laughs> usually I call her at 7:30 and it's 7:29. So she called a minute before to let me know she is going to church. Okay. So I was going on. This is my Aunt Fanny's birthday. So let's be Aunt Fanny birthday. And hubby is going off um this day again i think i um he went off what day was it oh yeah he went off on saturday um was that saturday i think that was i think it was supposed to be a friday but i put it on a saturday and look i'm just now seeing that just to see how it is and i put that on the wrong day oh well so I need to, I'm going to get something to put right here. Let me, y'all give me just a minute. Um, I'm going to find a, a square. Um, hold on. Um, 
let's see if I, I think I have a big square in here. Oh, yeah, here we go. Let's see. I'm going to write it just in case I um, go. So he's going, um, he's going to Atlanta on Friday. So I'm going to put Ronald to Atlanta. For Gary's appointment pt there we go okay i'm gonna put that there and i think i want to put a square here let me put this on the right day this is on a friday And he's going to, the Gary is his brother, so he's going to be with his brother as he has an appointment. Uh, anything else on that Friday? Uh, no. And then Saturday, we, oh, I need another score. We're going to a birthday party. Well, no, no, I can use that little dot. No, I'm going to use a square. I'm thinking I'm liking these little squares. We're going, um, I will be a little late because I actually have to work, but um, one of our church members is, uh, he is throwing his wife a surprise 50th birthday party. So Ronald and my mom are going to go at the time it is at, which is, um, it's at five o'clock. I want to put it in, I'll put it down here and, um, but I will just meet them after I get off from work. So I get off at 6.30 and I'll just mosey on over there. So that's at 5 p.m. 5 p.m. Let me spell her name. Sonia. S-O-N. Is it, is it J-A? I think. Sonia's 50th birthday party. All right, so um, let me put that sticker down. So that is so nice. He is one of the deacons at our church. And so he is inviting us to that. So I'll just put that down here. It's at the end of the day. So that's a birthday party. And um, I'm going to put one of these down here for exclamation point. Oh, it's gonna be important day, 50 years old. And let's see, and then Sunday uh, is the first day of October. And I think that might be it for Sunday for that week. So let's finish in writing um, in my task list. So, Okay, so and this is pretty much, um, you know, the same thing that I put over here. Did I put my little star here that I was looking for? Hmm, is that where that star went? I stuck it here? Oh, I got one here too, y'all. I used my stars on something else. All right, here is spend some special time with hubby. And this um, is like a day date. So let's see. I have to think probably it may be tomorrow after my appointment or, oh, I'll probably spend the whole day with mom on Tuesday. So it's going to have to be tomorrow or maybe Sunday. We'll do something Sunday after church. Um, and then um, this is spend time with mom and dad. And more than likely, since I'm going over there to take mom for her appointment, I'll spend time with that. And this is contact. This is, I have a list in my phone of who I need to contact. This is Amazon. I need Amazon or Etsy orders. I'll put that in. I am still completing, I'm still listening to my audiobook. Although I'm off schedule because, you know, I think I've, 
mentioned to you all, I listen to my audio books when I am at the gym. And so <laughs> I haven't been going to the gym, so I'm kind of off. And I need, but I still have Grace on here because I'm not going to finish it until the 23rd of October. I just, I'm going to have to maybe listen to it while I am stretching or something. A scripture study guide, uh, two days a week. I like to scripture study guide. As you all know, I cannot write and talk. Um, two days a week, I like uh, more than just the devotional on this. Uh, I like to um, just take some time to really, really um, look at some scripture and look it up and just study it. Uh, this is my prayer journal. I like to do that once a week. This is not the gratitude. On my gratitude, I write in it um, every day something I'm thankful for. But this is, um, I look at that week or a week and, and write a, a letter to the Lord about all the things I was grateful for and um, put it in a, in a letter to God. And so this is um, 10 pages, which... I am trying to do. I'm doing pretty good lately. I think I was really stressing myself out by saying, oh, I'm going to read um, a p 10 pages every day. And that was truly, truly stressing myself out. And so I'm not trying to add stress on myself. I'm trying to um, decrease it. So I said, you know what? That That's doable for me with everything else that I'm doing. That's doable. So anyway... This is my little skeleton view of my plan with me for the week of the 25th of um, September until the 1st of October. We are already getting into um, pumpkin month, but um, I hope that you all have enjoyed this time with me. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, and um, yeah, don't forget, um, what did I ask you all to do? At the beginning of here, I asked you all to do something. Yes, if you have tattoos, don't forget. I want to hear how old were you when you received them. Maybe if you have, and uh, you know, uh, what do you feel about our uh, older generation? Are we Gen? Is it Gen X, Gen Y, babe? What am I? Am I Gen X? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what do you feel about our Gen Xers getting all of these body arts and just really expressing themselves in their clothing and makeup and maybe not looking like our, our grandmothers did? And I'm a great grandmother too, so maybe looking a little bit different. And um, yeah, and just being free and just expressing yourself in a way, of course, uh, nothing that would take anything away um, from anyone else, but but not forgetting that you are someone too. So. Tell me what you think below. But anyway, you all take care of yourself. Don't forget to love each other on each other. And until the next time, bye-bye.